Hi there, this video is part of Environmental Principles and Systems. I'll be providing you with an introduction to the World 3 model and show you how to use it. The World 3 model is a systems dynamics model best known for its use by the authors of the book Limits to Growth. You may remember this book from the first lecture. Using a variation of the World 3 model, the researchers modelled factors affecting the economy, environment and population and concluded that we would run out of resources by the year 2000. You may also remember that actual observations have since shown that the business as usual simulation from the Limits to Growth book wasn't very far off in its predictions. In this exercise, we will play with a simulation of the actual World 3 model that was used in the Limits to Growth book. The World 3 model can be re reproduced easily on an online platform because when the Limits to Growth was prepared in the 1970s, computers were far less powerful than they are today and the model had to be run on a computer. So interestingly, the researchers who created the World 3 model were, cri were criticised for its simplicity, which highlights the balance that must be struck when creating a model of a system. Go to Google and type in World 3 model and click search. Select the insight maker choice, usually the second item on the list. Opening the World 3 simulation, we can see that the model is pretty complex, with many flows and interacting parts. Although putting it into perspective, consider that this is a model of the interaction of population, environment and the economy at a global level over a 100 year period. So it's necessarily complex. I'll give you a walk through the simulation now to help you with the exercise. To navigate through the model, you can scroll up or down or select the drop down menu at the top right hand corner to zo zoom in or select various percentage view options. You can also select fit window to view the entire model. On the right hand side panel, we have the sliders. These are the most important part of the model. Drag the sliders left and right to change the values. We have the initial non-renewable resources slider and the progressive policy adoption slider. When you're ready to run a simulation, go to the top left hand corner and click the play button. This will run the simulation. After you click the button, the results will be plotted. Here we have our results window showing population, persistent pollution, and non-renewable resources over time. We also have demographics showing different populations over time and also land use characteristics over time. Down the bottom, we have another slider. You can drag it left and right to move the simulation to a specific year. Click the maximize button to view the results in full screen. And click the minimize button to return to the smaller screen. You can try change the simulation settings, changing the start date or the simulation length. Here I'm changing the simulation start date to 1910 and the simulation length to 210. You can also change the time units that are reported. You can change the analysis algorithm. There are two options here. Try change them and see if there's any difference to your results.
If you want to look into the intricacies of the model, you can look into each and every node. Just click the button on the top left hand corner. Here I'm going to look at progressive policy adoption. Opening it up, I can see that it's simply one number. Scrolling down to the bottom, I have my population inputs and also our mortality converter. Make sure you don't change any of this data when you're looking at it. But you can have a look at how the input matches a certain output. You can scroll up or down and then click the X button to close. Let's look at another one. Here we have our crowding multiplier. Finally, let's run our second simulation. I've changed the sliders on the right hand corner and then I click the play button. My simulation is plotted again and we have the same results here. And we have the results plotted demographics, overview and land use. I can move my results panels around the screen and compare them side to side. Clicking on the cog, I can enter a title so I don't confu get confused as to which one is which. I really hope you enjoyed this video and using this model. I encourage you to play around with the different parameters. We'll see you in class.